Easy. Now I'm making this video primarily for the few American viewers that I seem to have picked up. But it's by no means insignificant for those living in the UK. But today, we are very blessed here in the United Kingdom because we have your great president visiting us this week. And of course, the, the pictures that you guys are all going to see beamed back at you from the media are pictures of people welcoming the great president of the United States. There's going to be red carpets laid out everywhere. Right? I'm afraid not, guys. Because our very own London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, is on the warpath. Now, Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London, is a deep hater of Trump. He hates Trump because... I think the main reason he hates him is because Sadiq Khan wants Muslims to be treated like royalty. Now, I believe, of course, that they should be treated equally. But Khan doesn't. They have to have preferential treatment. And anybody that uh, says that that's unfair, anybody that is against that, is a racist! A nasty bigot! And... He has just tweeted, as Sadiq Khan, that Donald Trump is like a 20th century fascist. I kid you not. And of course, Trump, in his uh, usual manner, has tweeted back. And he said that Khan should concentrate on knife crime and get the knife crime down in the capital instead of concentrating on him. Well, we all know what Khan thinks about Donald Trump, but to be quite honest with you, forgive the language here, but who gives a fuck what that silly cunt thinks? In London right now, we have an absolute epidemic of knife crime. In 2018, there were over 100 murders, and the majority of these crimes are being carried out by young black men. And not only are they the majority of the perpetrators, they also are the majority in the victims as well. Because this is what happens when you have a city under Khan, and Khan wants the city to be as diverse as possible. But there's never any thought gone into about integration and how quickly the integration takes place. We've even got children unaccompanied by the parents coming from Somalia, probably the most lawless country in the world, and also Nigeria. And this, the result of this, the knife crime epidemic that we are now facing is, is a result of both that and Sadiq Khan's inability to tackle the problem. Now, one thing that he does quite a lot is that he blames central government for the problems. Now, central government is the Conservative Party. <laughs> now, I use that term very loosely, by the way. But Sadiq Khan is a member of the far-left Labour Party. And what's happened is that since the Labour Party were booted out of power in 2010, uh, the, the incoming Conservative Party were faced with an absolute financial obliteration that they, they, they were the 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 country's finances would been completely wiped out and in their humor uh, the the labor party left a note on the on the table for the incoming government that actually said there is no money left almost like it was a a joke and what's had to take place since then is that there needed to be a period of austerity take place because the country's finances were completely out of control. And what it's seen is it's seen cuts to services. One of the services being cut being the police. Now, uh, well, there's been police and uh, social care services that have been cut quite heavily. Now, as much as I don't like that fact, I, I, I recognise the fact that it was necessary to do this. Um, and Sadiq Khan, he blames central government for cutting back on funding for the police. Now, 
he likes to blame central government, but a lot of what the problem is, it, it is him himself, is that he doesn't allocate the money correctly. And this all came to light at the end of 2018. Uh, and I did have some sympathy. Up, up, to, up to then, I did have a little bit of sympathy with him because I, do, I am aware that government funding has been cut for police. But then on New Year's Day, for, uh, well, New Year's Eve rather, for, for the, a celebrate, a firework display, a celebration firework display, what Khan did is he used fireworks in order to light up the London Eye, which is, it's a Ferris wheel with chairs all around the outside. And the fireworks lit up the blue circle in the middle in blue and the chairs around the outside in yellow. And the whole idea was to resemble the EU flag because he hates Brexit as well. But that firework display cost him three million pounds. That's something in the range of about four to five million dollars. And he's got the brass neck to complain about cuts to police. This is the Mayor of London for you. Now, the other thing that the, uh, the far left don't like is that they don't want a trade deal with America. After Brexit, what I'd like to see is a great trade deal between our two great countries. But the left don't want that because it's going to, well, they're using this as a means to beat it with, but it's going to include chlorine washed chicken. Now, chlorine washed chicken seems to be good enough for the Americans to consume. If it's good enough for the Americans, then it's good enough for me. And just to ram this home is that as if by magic, tonight, the far left bias Channel 4 is running a documentary that is ex uh, supposedly exposing the truth of chlorine wash chicken. Now, the timing of this is impeccable, don't you think? Also, Channel 4 is responsible for a programme called Hollyoaks, which I have another video of which you can look up. I will try and include a link in the descriptions box to this. Uh, which you can watch that. So there we are. Sadiq Khan, our great mayor of London. He's attempting to paint the whole of the United Kingdom, saying that the whole of the United Kingdom does not welcome Donald Trump. Well, I tell you this, guys. The great people of this country welcomes your president with open arms. I welcome your president with open arms and I want the people watching this in America to think that the um, scenes that you're probably going to get being back to you from the mainstream media are representative of our country. They are not. The great British people love America and they love President Trump. And anybody that tries to tell you otherwise as a majority are liars. So. Long live America, long live President Trump, and long live our great relationship. Thank you for watching, and until next time, easy.